Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Kahala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And in the ancient Hebrew tongue, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Savior. I want to title this lesson You women have drunken the Babylon juice. You are now witnessing, uh, first off, the, 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 the demise of the Judite woman and the other uh, 11 tribes. Uh, um, you guys in this kingdom have, have, been, have been worshipped. You have been in total uh, subjection unto the white man, Esau, the devil. You listen to, to his, uh, you've, drunk, you've, you've ate of the fruit of his, his wickedness, man. The, the, the bitterness of, of, of the system. You know, the so-called black woman, you know, she's, she's strong, she's independent, she doesn't need anyone. You know, her countenance is, is, is just wicked. Um, so let me get some scriptures. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. As for my people, my people, the lost 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people which lead thee. Cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy paths. So these women, a lot of you guys, y'all are so simped out that you're now following women. You know, you take, you take the orders of a woman. You understand? You know, these women can, can you know, like I said, they're independent. Now they, you know, Esau has put them over, over the man, you know. So now they, uh, you know, they feel like they're, they're men. And a lot of you guys out there, you know, you... You, you follow under them. You understand? Um, and it's just, it's total wickedness, man. It tells you that uh, this will be a new thing uh, in the world. Matter of fact, let me get that scripture. Give me one second. Salakia. Oh, man. I can't find it right now. Um, ah. But uh, long story short, it's, it, you know, it, it's saying that uh, the Most High will make a new thing under the sun, that a woman will, uh, will rule, uh, excuse me, a woman will be over the man. So that's new, man. That wasn't in the, uh, the ancient days, man. You know, a woman was always in, into subjection under her man. You understand? And a lot of you guys now, you know, you take the, you take the orders of a woman, you know, you, 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 you seek counsel under a woman. You know, you got women judges, women doctors, women lawyers. Uh, uh, you know, you go to a lot of these jobs. The women are the managers. You know, this is a new thing under the sun. It's, it was never meant to be this way. But Esau, the so-called white man, he's so cucked out. You know, that's, that's that, you know, now everyone is drunken from his, his cup. So he's done this. You understand? Um, and that's why a lot of you, you know, you so-called Hebrew Israelite women, you know, you have on your page, you know, I'm a, I'm a daughter of Zion, this and that. But at the same time, you know, you're still posting pictures. You're still worldly. You know, you try to act like, you're, you know, you're, you're a God-fearing woman, but you're still doing things in this world. Why? Because you don't have the knowledge and understanding. It was not given to you. Let me go to that. Proverbs 8 and 4. Unto you, unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. Okay, so you, you, you men, you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, this, this word goes out to you, you understand? And under that, you, you bring your woman into subjection under you, because Yahweh is the head, then under him is Yahweh Shai, then under him is the man, woman, and children. That's the order of things. But once again, we're in a wicked-ass kingdom, Salakia for cursing. And, and if, you know, if I offend you because of my words, you can just cut the video off now, man. A lot of you, you know, you get so butt hurt, you won't even listen to the message. But as soon as someone says, you know, a quote unquote curse word, you know, oh, he's, you know, not a man. But you guys have no understanding once again. But let me read it again. Proverbs verse, uh, chapter 8, verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. So this, this book, you know, these verses are for men to understand. You know, that's why it tells you that, you know, uh, uh, the most high can seal of a thing, but it's up to his kings to search out the matter. So that's why we, you know, we, we, we are into subjection under Yahweh Shai and, and he sits with you and that's the comforter to understand these scriptures. But once again, you guys are, are now following the orders of these women, man. And that's why it's leading you to a path of destruction. And you understand? Uh, Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long will thou go about, O backsliding daughter? 
for the Lord have created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. I was just speaking of that, man. So that's Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. You know, this is a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. You understand? The Most High did it this way so that we can come back and understand that this isn't right, man. But a lot of you, you're comfortable with that. You know, you sit up here and you think that, uh, you know, a woman should have these rights, this and that. What comes from that, man? Nothing comes from that. These women are emotional. Women is an emotional creature. One minute, you know, she's, she's stable. The next minute you say one thing, uh, uh, you know, everything, you know, goes to hell. You know what I'm saying? A woman has no order. She has no structure. That's why she's supposed to learn under a man of the most high and be in subjection unto him. She's supposed to seek counsel under him. But once again, you have a, wor a world where, where everything is backwards, man. First uh, Corinthians uh, chapter 7, verse 31. And they that use this world as not abusing it for the fashion of this world passeth away. So just because the world is changing, that does not mean you change with it. You understand? Just because women are given rights, that does not mean, you know, you say, okay, you know, women given rights, so let me listen to them. Let me learn under them. That's, that's, that's wickedness, man. Corinth, uh, 1 Corinthians 7, verse 32, or chapter, excuse me, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 32. But I would have you without carefulness, he that is unmarried, careth for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Uh, verse 33. But he that is married careth of, for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. So what that means is a lot of you guys believe in this happy wife, happy life uh, uh, bullshit. You understand? That's why so many of you are without uh, counsel of the Lord. Because you, you, you seek to please, the, please your woman instead of pleasing the most high. You know, you guys stand on no foundation out here, man. No foundation. That's why women are now, uh, uh, you know, they're in total wickedness. Because you men are not standing up. To this wickedness. You understand? You let you let the woman, you know, you'll watch the kids on the weekend and, and she goes to the club. And a lot of you think that, you know, she, oh, I'm going to the, you know, I'm going with my friends out. Man, when they go out to these clubs, man, and they get drunk, guys are buying them, you know, drinks and stuff. You understand? She's looking to have a good time. She's looking to replace you, man. Come on now. If that woman was in subjection unto you and she truly loved you, she wouldn't give a shit about going out. She would not care about going out. She looking to replace you, man. And when I say this, I speak for myself as well. You know, I, before coming into this word, you know, I, there, was, there was moments where I thought that that was okay. You understand? But you learn very quickly, man, that that's wickedness, man. These women are always looking to replace you. You understand? That's why if you ever notice when you get into a relationship, you know, you go through the courting phase, the woman is, she's total, you know, under you. You know what I'm saying? She wants to do everything you want to do. The moment you pop out that kid, that's when her, that's when that, that Esau, that Esau juice kick in. And now she wants to destroy you. She wants to put you on child support. And she wants to basically, uh, uh, she's looking for the next man. This is how these women work. You understand? So uh, let me go to 1 Corinthians 7 and 33 again. But he that is married careth of the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. So a lot of you, you know, you want to, you want the big house, you want the, you know, nice car, you know, the wife says go on vacation, you want to go on vacation, you sit up there and you work, you go, you know, put in overtime for her, you know what I'm saying? But, excuse me, Salakia, but you, you know, when it comes to the Lord, you don't, you don't care about anything. You don't seek out the counsel of the Lord. You don't seek to find, to understand the great mysteries of this book, how you can please the Lord, how you can be saved, how you can become a better man. You understand? Uh, let me go to, um. Proverbs 9 and 13, a foolish woman is clamorous, and that word clamorous is loud. You understand? She's always talking. Her mouth is always running. She is simple and knoweth nothing. And that's a lot of you women out here, man. That's a lot of you women out here. You know, you think you, you, you learned under Esau in this system. You sit up here and I, I got my degree in uh, A, B, C, D or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you think you know something, but you, you don't understand nothing. Because if, if you did, you'd understand that everything that we see here is vanity and it's going to pass it away. You understand? This is this world in, in Esau's system. This is only for a, a short time. You understand? And that this system is collapsing right before our eyes. But you st you're so prideful, you know, you're so, so, quote unquote, strong and independent. You don't need a man. You don't need understanding. You know, you subscribe to, the, to Esau's Babylon juice, man. You drunk that cup. You understand? That's why your 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 uh your 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 basically your your destruction is going to be ten times over just what he saw. You know, 
That's why he used the black woman, the Latino woman, the Native American woman to go against the, the, the so-called blacks, Latino and uh, Native American man. He knew what he was doing. And you subscribe to that doctrine, man. You didn't want to you stand side by side by your man in subjection. You wanted to listen to it because it was too good. You know, a lot of you, like I said, a lot of you Israelite uh, women, you know, you're Israelites now. You just want to you just want to basically be a part of something. But you're still wicked. You understand? You, a lot of you think that in the day, uh, in the day that the Most High comes back, that He's gonna sit up there and 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 uh, you know, be with you. You don't understand. You're not understanding Scripture. You have uh, a a man, a man of the Lord, not a man of the world, but a man of the Lord is going to be your Savior. You understand? Read three Scriptures. Women that were in good countenance with the Lord, they always were in subjection to their man. They always called him Lord, Master. Why? Because they knew that their salvation was through the man. Wisdom is given to a man, not a woman. You know? Ecclesiastes, uh, excuse me, Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter 25, verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart, and the heart meaning mine, and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman, verse th- uh, 14. And any affliction, but the affliction from them that hate me. And any revenge, but the revenge of my enemies. Uh, uh, Verse 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with the wicked woman. You know, you know, and that that's man, that's (laughs) that's cutting right there. You know, you're never you you, you in a house with a wicked woman. You know, she's always she, she picks she nitpicks at every little thing. She always has something to say, you know, say to you. She always, uh, you know, wants to stir up drama. You know, you say one thing, she wants to come right in your face and, 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 and say the opposite. She's always in and uh, she's always a rival to you, man. So it's telling you that, you know, I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon. I would literally rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to be in a house with the wicked woman. Man, that's, that's a cut in scripture right there. Ecclesiasticus 25 and 17. The wickedness of a woman changeth her face and darkeneth her countenance like sackcloth. So you ever notice when you with the woman and y'all, you know, you, you say one thing and she disagrees with you. Her whole countenance changed, man. That pride come out. She starts sticking her, uh, her chest out a little bit more. You know, she looking you dead in the eyes as if she can, you know, whoop your ass. You know what I'm saying? That's a wicked woman, man. That's a wicked woman. And a lot of you guys are, you, you, you're taken by that, man. You're taken by that. Uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, let me go to verse, uh, excuse me. Yeah, verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So a lot of these women don't understand that they, they, the most high is reserving judgment unto you, man. He's reserving judgment unto you. That's why in that day, it tells you that the women are going to be shamefaced. They're going to be seeking men of the Lord. You guys are going to be brought low. Why? Because you sat here and you were against the most highest men. You were against the, the order of things. You subscribe to this Babylon juice, this, these, these doctrines, you know. You didn't want your man to, to lead you. You didn't want, and even if you had a wicked man, you didn't pray unto the most high that you be delivered from that. No, instead, you, you just, you, you, you wanted to fight against it and say, you know what, fuck that. You understand? He hurt me. Well, guess what? I'm going to be a hoe now, you know? And, and to you wicked men, man, it's the same shit. Y'all going y'all, y'all to fear the most high, man, and that time is coming. And y'all not going to understand what to do, you understand? But like, like, I'm going back to the woman, man. But um, stumble not, excuse me, Ecclesiasticus uh, 25, uh, verse 19. All the wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Verse 21. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. So once again, Esau made a world to where... A lot of you guys, the first thing when you look at a woman, what you doing? You're looking at the, the beauty of her. Damn, I like the fuck. Damn, I want her. Damn, I love to have her on my arm. That's wickedness. You should be judging her off of her submission, judging her off of, of is she a godly woman? Is she, does she fear the most high? You understand? But in this system, you're taught otherwise, man. 
That's why all of you getting taken, uh, uh, you're getting taken because of the beauty of a woman. That's wickedness. And you don't even understand that when these women, uh, they got on this, this makeup and shit, that's witchcraft, man. You take the, you, you, they, they take that makeup off, they look totally different, man. That's fucking wickedness. That's like me going out here and I got a fake beard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you know, I, I got fake hair on top of my head. I draw on some abs. Oh, she going to look at me like, what the, f what is going on here? This man just tricked me. It's the same thing with these women, man. They're not stupid. You know, I see it all the time. And she, she, she's batting her eyes. She got wonton eyes. You know, her feet are, t are, are, are tinkling. You know, that's her, those are her, uh, her, her heels. She's looking for attention. You know, and you guys get taken, you get taken upon that, man. Ecclesiasticus 25, verse 24. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. And what was that? That was in the, that was in the Garden of Eden. When the, when the serpent, so-called Esau, the, the Hebrew uh, Edomite, he came and uh, he gave the woman that quote-unquote fruit, which was not literally fruit. It was the philosophies, okay, the philosophies that you're seeing today of independence, of equality, of feminism. He told her, you can have this. You want to be, like, be like God? You want to be like the man? Here, take it. And she bit of that. She, she subscribed to that. You understand? And it's the same thing today. I, you know, I don't watch TV, but I pro man, every time I turn on this television, the commercials are nothing but feminized commercials. You know, movies now are feminized, meaning they put the woman as the superhero. She can do all. That's wickedness, man. That's witchcraft, man. That's why, man, I'm t that's why it says you, you women are going to be brought low in that day. You're going to realize that you, 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 you should have been in subjection unto your man. Let me go to, uh, matter of fact, let's go, let's see what Solomon, King Solomon said. You know, speaking of, of talking about these women. Ecclesi Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. And those snares and nets are traps. So her heart, she, she's trying to trap a man and her hands as bands. Whoso please of God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. So a lot of you guys, you, you don't, you're not even understanding that the most high put a spirit on you because you're wicked. So guess what you got? You got a wicked ass woman. You know, now you're, now you're, you're trying to uh, please her. You understand? Now you, you got four or five kids by her and you just gave the fuck up. You know, now you just listen to her. It's easy. What they say, it's, uh, it's, cheaper to keep, uh, it's cheaper to keep her. A lot of you guys believe in that shit. You're not standing up for the Lord. You're not standing up on your two feet as a man to say, nah, man, I'm, I'm done with this shit. Because you feel like, you know what? She got me. You, you in her trap, man. You in her trap. And that's what she, that's what she wanted. Okay? Ecclesiastes uh, chapter 7, verse 27. Behold, this have I found saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account. Verse 28, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not. One man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among those have I not found. So King Solomon was searching for righteous men. He found one out of a thousand, but a woman, he did not find not one righteous woman. Okay. And guess what? That was in the ancient days. So how much more now, you know, in, in this wicked ass kingdom, it's going to be hard to find a righteous woman. You guys, are, you've been taken by this Babylon juice, man, by these doctrines. That's why this earth is getting weakened, man. That's why he says, you know, uh, uh, he's going to reserve your portion, your cup. So right now you're living it up and you feel like, oh, whatever. And I, I've seen it before and I've heard it. A lot of you women say, oh, well, when we get into the wilderness, you know, I don't care. That's when everything's going to happen in the kingdom. You know, everybody, you know, will be changed this and that. You're so fucking wicked. And the most I put a spirit on you of, not, of no understanding that you think that when shit hits the fan and, and, and you know, the EMPs and the nuclear uh, uh, bombs drop that you just, the most High is going to say, okay, you know what? Fine. You're good. It's not going to work that way because during the time right now of grace, you did not come back. You understand? 
How, how, you, how do you think the men right now, you had a lot of these men that are now uh, into subjection to the Lord. You know, these men could have been basketball players, singers, musicians. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of them were drug dealers. They turned and, 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 and followed the path of the Lord. Why didn't you? Huh? You think that it's just going to be so simple, you know? Uh, uh, this planet's going to, uh, you know, this economy's going to collapse and then, uh, you know, he's just going to find, uh, uh, he's just going to change? He's just going to change you? You're just going to be in the wilderness? You're just going to be going from place to place and he's just going to protect you? It's not going to work that way, man. That's why you're going to be seeking a man of, of, of the most high. Because you're going to be, you're going you're to be brought low. Because you did not subscribe unto his men, unto the doctrine of a holy man. You understand? You didn't, you didn't seek counsel from a man. You wanted to, to, like I said, you wanted to listen to Esau's doctrine, the fucking devil. You wanted to listen to his doctrine and what he said. And, and you still, you, you, you got so much pride on you. And that's the most high putting that pride on you. Because he's reserving your judgment. I hope this message was edifying. Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai.